what's up Woo-hoo. what is up what's up what's up what's up what's up family yes i'm back yes i'm back and we gonna be talking about the cookie lady yes i forgot what her name is shania shania hell something like that but somebody done gave her some press so i am going to be showing on my platform the cookie lady the cookie lady up there trying to get her 15 minutes of fame or something even more lucrative i don't know candy burrs wants her on the show she said it on her speak on it uh, YouTube channel, go over there and check it out. She's giving her rendition, her recap of the episode that aired on February 9th. Tell her Dale Chanel sent you over. <laughs> and tell her to come over here and rock with the fam, all right? Because we don't need her to be over there creating so, so much fuckery, foolishness, fraudulent, and fake behavior, okay? So, yeah. That's where we going with this, but I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for Weston Vaughn. He kind of stopped over here a little late uh, last night when I was getting my recording in, but welcome him. like to see more men up in the chat section, so uh, welcome, welcome. We throwing all our uh, hugs on you, kissing you on your forehead, your cheeks and stuff, and just telling you to sit down, get you something to eat, drink, and we will be merry. And we will be merely alone talking about the next uh, subject topic or subject matter. And it happens to be on the cookie lady. Yes, we're getting our um, salacious story that was put out by Urban Mag, uh, UrbanBellMag.com magazine. Yes, uh, my little girl over there, or I should say woman, Amanda Anderson Nia. She's a correspondent or a journalist that write up articles for UrbanBellMag.com. Yes, so we always love to give the credit where credit can be done and do uh, for the little uh, journalists that are out here putting out these salacious stories on uh, these uh, so-called stars, reality stars, celebrities, however you want to see them. But she gives her article title, it, uh, The Cookie Lady Responds to Backlash After the Latest Appearances or Appearance on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, what did the cookie lady expect? She coming in and she ain't playing a good part from beginning to end. So, of course, she's the odd woman out. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get a way in. But like I said, if we didn't let Yovana in, we can't let the cookie lady in either. Now, that's just my pun intended, not in this article. But the article was written up on the 11th of February. Let's, why don't we just go on and get into it, okay? Um, she writes, Real Housewives of Atlanta fans are still talking about the latest episode. And that it is because the drama between Kenya Moore and Tanya Sam's escalated. Yes, it did. It was DEFCON 1. Okay, the missiles were already shot to the intended target. And it was just going back and forth, back and forth. Bombs were being dropped. Elf bombs were being dropped. Someone got called a cunt. I'm thinking that came from Kenya's mouth. Um fired at Tanya. I mean, can't can't Kenya was just being totally disrespectful. And y'all call her Miss USA girl. I mean, oh, is that Miss America? Hell, I can't remember. Y'all know it's one of them. I want to say Miss USA, but she wouldn't represent nobody. Okay, but Bravo Ratchet uh TV program show. So that's what she was showing us last night. She wasn't representing motherhood. She wasn't even representing a human being that had morals and scruples about themselves. Okay. She was like the gum underneath your uh foot that you stepping over or stepping on. That's how Kenya Moore acted her ass uh on Sunday night. Not in this article, that was just my side part. Okay. Then it goes back to say Kenya feels like it was it was messy for Tanya to show all of the other women the wig she left behind in Canada. Yeah, okay, yeah, Kenya, that could have been, I mean, Kenya, that could have been shady. But what about you showing up with your little five-piece band at Marlowe's event, trying to get a lad, trying to get a kiki, and then you didn't stop there. You call yourself passing out products. Kenya Moore hair products at somebody else's wig showing event. Now, how tacky is that? Okay, you mess with somebody's brand, like you saying Tanya was messing with your brand, but you're making total foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, fake shit 
on dumping on somebody else's platform where they trying to make some business moves. So, Kenya, what can you say about yourself? All right. Kenya with uh Tanya was just calling out a spade and you were the intended target and she blasted you good. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article says, but Tanya thought it was lighthearted it was a lighthearted way to get even with Kenya after she hinted at the accusations made by Paul Judd. That's right. Kenya, you throw shit out there, we expect it to come back full force and full rounded. All right. Measured by measure. Okay, so back to the article says, so Kenya took things to the next level and brought the cookie lady back on the show. While Kenya feels as if there are no restrictions when it comes to war, she's been getting a lot of backlash for her actions on social media. The cookie lady has been getting backlash too. She actually responded on social media, okay? And if you go to her um, social media platform, let me see here. It's in this, located in this article. Phone moving a little slowly than I had anticipated moving. But uh, her Instagram account, meaning the cook lady, she is called A Hot Two Cookie. A is an apple, H A U T is in Tom, E C O O K I E. And she put this uh, message to the haters, okay? or the motivators i don't know which one but she says thank you to the audience that is mature enough to understand my honest intentions and that can take honesty so sorry that the rest have not experienced enough in life or are hurt people that have not yet healed now my thing and of course kenya more liked it, it and several other people that were definitely Riding hard for Kenya and uh, this new cookie lady. Evidently, she hadn't watched enough uh, episodes to see how Kenya more really gets down and how she tramples over people when she's done with them. But okay, if cookie lady want to play in the game and be guest sponsored here and there, uh, free promotion for her business, go ahead, do your thing, cookie lady. But no. Kenya does strike when you least expect it, and she will come for you if she feels threatened by you. All right, but now she's using you as a ploy. She's using you as a pawn in a dangerous game that she's playing. All right, so if you want to be yesterday's news, continue messing with Kenya more and see what happens, cookie lady. Okay, but anyway, going back to the article, that was my sidebar. It says, Tanya Sams isn't thrilled that the accusations about Paul Judge her has become a hot topic on Real Housewives of Atlanta. While Kenya Moore and Cynthia Bailey were at a local cookie shop, the shop owner, a woman named Shania Shaina, Shaina White, approached them about Paul. She said Paul tried to hit on her when she was out one night. After Kenya hinted at this, Tanya decided to get even in a quirky way by showing off the wig Kenya left in Canada. Kenya took this as a major blow, so she decided to bring the cookie lady back on the show. The conversation between Tanya and uh, Shaya was a tense one, although Tanya came to the conclusion that the situation was blown out of proportion and Paul didn't actually cheat. Thank you. Shania accused Tanya of being upset that she's gorgeous and Paul was interested in her. Now, my sidebar, uh, yeah. Shania, whatever your name is, baby girl, you are beautiful. Yes, you are. But Tanya can share that same throne. She's a beautiful woman as well. Both of you all are light-skinned. Uh, both of y'all have nice, coated, graded hair. Uh, and both of y'all are very successful in your own right. Uh, don't cross those murky waters because you can't see the shafts that are uh, slipping up under you that Kenya has sent ahead of you. Okay? Those sharks can turn on you as well. So, uh, tit for tat, I give y'all both that. Uh, which I still have a man in the midst of it all who's lying and trying to get his own thing going on. Whether you want to recognize a Shia or whatever your name is, we're going to stay the cookie lady. Or Tanya don't want to confess that a man, her man, can be doing some fraudulent shit out there as well. I had to give me something to drink, y'all. Kind of getting parched. But, um... Uh, if y'all want to continue taking up for men, 
And women who lie, then that's good. It's, uh, we need to do a little bit more investigating ourselves about our mates and be able to definitely know what your person would do and what they wouldn't do. Okay, and then sometimes you have to be silent and that speaks volumes. Okay, and then you go handle your shit behind closed doors. <laughs> All right. Uh, but anyway, going back to the article, it said, um, after the episode aired, both Kenya and Sha Cookie Lady received a lot of backlash on social media. The Cookie Lady responded on Instagram. Check out the screenshot below. And I just read it to y'all earlier. And that was pretty much it. The Cookie Lady trying to get her shine a little bit heavier. And her presence a little bit more heavier out there to promote her business. And probably here or there try to definitely get on maybe the show. As a featured guest, will it turn into be a lot of drama with it? Of course. But if Tanya mm -hmm. wanted to sign up for that, she sure can handle herself. And with a little touch and go with Marlo Hampton, yes, they can just mow Kenya Moore and the cookie lady down and come for Candy and Cynthia if they want to throw their hats in the ring as well. Okay, but Candy, see, we're looking for you to bring something to the table other than being a bone collector. So, we're not letting you escape. We It seems like your storyline is getting a little uh, speed to it with bringing us some uh, real tea on what's going on with you and Todd. Uh, Cynthia, uh, um, I think you need to fall all the way back because you ain't looking good. You never look good in the streets of handling your business on this show. You always looked like didn't have a spine. I always wish you washy. Don't have nothing to really say. And you want us to take you serious. Okay? But yet, yeah, you've been a little bone collector, a little messy shit starter story yourself. All right. And then we looking at Mike and he's doing enough to put anybody who's blind in a uh, frame of mind. And no, nah, we don't need to get married. We just need to stay a couple. Okay. Until I can see a little bit further. But October, October the 10th, 2020 or however it is, uh, it needs to be postponed till maybe 2022, 23, 24, 25. Hell, okay. Keep the same 10, 10, but just keep it going a little further out because ain't no sense of you being, um, what do you call it? Not widow, but, um, ex wife number three, Cynthia. It's just not worth it, baby. And then. How he displayed himself on this last episode. That's questionable. That's truly questionable. And if you really had anybody riding and dying for you on this show. Like Kenya said. She she would die if she would ever felt she hurt you in a way. And you trying to get her as your um, wedding planner. Girl please. Hell no. Okay. Kenya can't even plan her own wedding. Alright. Get alone trying to plan yours. Your second one at that one. So yeah. Uh, uh, pumpy break, Cynthia. Um, get on the sidelines. It's where we prefer to have you anyway. And, and think about this thing because this man is telling you he ain't never been faithful, even though he probably was professing his love to his first two wives, which is now his ex wives. Uh, he has no respect for his younger daughter. Showed that correctly on the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 13. 12 episode 13 we saw it you know didn't have any compassion where he was hugging on her he shouldn't have had her in that situation from the get-go that's a grown and sexy type of conversation party greeting that y'all had it had nothing to do with having any kids up in now you see what i'm saying and it's making me think you had these two children these two girls with two different baby mamas uh and that, that, that that's messed up you know what i'm saying it's, it's kind of messed up because uh, baby girl needs some therapy. And you need to pay for it to make sure she gets it. Yeah. So, um, that's all I want to have for this particular video, guys. For y'all to get a chance to look at the cookie lady. If y'all didn't get a chance to. And, you know, give her free promotion on my uh, platform. If y'all really want to take part of her cookies and this, that, and the third. Hell, I keep buying my Publix cookies and uh, American something. I mean, what's it called? American Cookie Company or something. I continue to go to them. Well, hell, I bake them in my oven myself. But I would damn if I'm finna go up and partake and patron some woman 
who's trying to come on TV and say another woman's man is trying to hit on them. I ain't gonna do that. I don't know the cookie lady and I damn sure don't know Tanya. But Tanya got my respect. There she do. She got my respect and I keep my dollars, my coins, all my money. Will not go to the cookie lady. Because the cookie lady just just doing too much. I mean, if you really want to make a splash, you could have just... Uh, Came to the event or some type of event they were hosting. Because Cynthia Baylor down there, she probably said, yeah, honey, we uh, we could connect. You got a business. I got a business. Uh, Sure, come on down to one of these little things we have. And, you know, she could have met uh, Tanya Sands on her own. And they could have had an off-type conversation. You know, so you got to bring everything on, uh, on TV. To discuss to have a storyline. You know what I'm saying? Or better yet. If she wanted to. And Tane was uh, free to do so. Or felt like she wanted to do so. She wanted to find a little bit more information out. Y'all could have set it up where y'all had Paul fall through the place. And then he actually saw this lady. And you'd already had a conversation with her. And then y'all could confront Paul together. Now that, that would have been some... some uh, Black magic shit, some black magic girl shit right there. Getting and catching a Igga doing fraudulent stuff. You know what I'm saying? Catching him all the way in the act and just see, since you're supposed to know all his uh, body language, Tanya. You would have known if your man was uh, saying some stuff that was fraudulent because you know his body language. You know he lying and, and trying to hide shit. And if he displayed any of those type of characteristics, when he saw you with the alleged cookie lady that he was trying to hit on, you would have known right then and there that brother probably would have been stuttering. He probably been like, well, what kind of setup this is? You know, he would have been going off the wall, okay? Because he would have known her. Yes, he would have known and, and, and recognized who she was, okay? And then it would have just been a he, she, uh, he say whatever type of conversation. But then you would have known because you know your man or you say you know your man. But I give you a little hint. Don't nobody know their partners as well as the Lord, the creator of the human being. Okay? So, don't get so tied up into that. But that's all I had, family, for this uh, video. Yes, I'm grateful to have Weston Vaughn again come in. Uh, make a little comment here and there. And had to scoot on up because he had to go to work, I'm pretty sure, uh, the next day. But, uh, yeah, y'all get into this video, get in them comments, tell me what y'all thought about the cookie lady. Cookie lady trying to come out on her social media program, a uh, uh, platform, and trying to call herself hanging with Kenya Moore. She just don't know what kind of tree she trying to run up in, do she, y'all? She don't know what kind of tree she trying to hang out with and get shade with, girl. But, you know, she got to be recognized. She got her fame. And now she's going to have to deal with the aftermath, okay? You don't come slinging and, 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 and make it up your mud pies. Don't think somebody going to get in their oven and throw more pies back at you, okay? But it just is what it is. So, again, um... Make sure y'all get out in them comments. Comment back to me or comment towards other family members. Just be respectful. And like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so at this time. What are you waiting on? It's just going to get juicier and juicier and juicier. Okay. We blow up together. That's what family do. We help each other. But anyway, guys, I will see y'all next video. Y'all continue to be blessed and uh, take care of yourselves. Good night.